thanks for choosing us. Let's begin with the minority that is alleging government has padded the contract sum meant to construct an office space for the bulk oil storage company limited. The contract, according to ranking member on the Mines and Energy Committee, John Jinapa, was signed under the Eswell Mahama administration at $39 million and has now been inflated to $78 million by the current administration. Listen. The Twin Tower originally was scheduled to cost $39 million. However, documents that we have intercepted, and ladies and gentlemen, we have labeled all the documents in order to ensure that we provide you with the evidence. This is a documents, 102 different documents, 102 documents, and we've labeled them. So for instance, this exhibit B, so when you receive them, you will see Exhibit A, Exhibit B, in order to make it easier for you to peruse. That contract was said to have increased to $49 million. From $39 million, it increased to $49 million. That is not enough. Having increased to 49, the board of BOST decided that they will procure only one single unit. They wrote to the Minister of Finance and had a response from the Deputy Minister, John Kuma, granting them approval to procure that single unit at $24 million. If you look at the old amount, it should have been 19.5. So it went to 24. And so BOST applied to the Public Procurement Authority for approval. To our utmost shock and dismay, in granting the approval, the Public Procurement Authority then increased the amount from $24 million to $39 million. Wow. And so a single unit, which would have originally costed us about $19 million, in 2017, has now ballooned and metamorphosized into $39 million. What it means is that when you account for the two buildings, it will cost us a colossal $78 million. So this project has inflated, been padded from the original 39. Now the two would cost $78 million. John Janapo accused government of turning Boston and other state institutions in the energy sector into corruption cash cow. They want President Ekofuado to order an immediate investigation into the matter. It is obvious that some officials are culpable and neck deep in this huge scandal. We do not have any confidence in the Ekofuado led government as far as resolving this conundrum is concerned. Officialdom has demonstrated a lack of professionalism and competence in this whole debacle, as BOST has been converted into one of the milking cows under this administration. It is our hope, however, that for the first time, the president would master and garner courage to cause an independent investigation into this scandal, which is of monumental proportion, and punish his officials whose negligence recklessness and complexity has led us into this huge debt. We in the minority hereby serve notice that anything short of an independent and credible investigation shall be rejected and denounced not just by the minority and the NDC, but the people of Ghana as a whole. We shall remain vigilant and resolute in our quest to ensure that we continue to monitor and prevent the looting and plundering of scarce resources of this nation. This is a time government has been crying and complaining that it cannot even get money to pay salaries. And yet, we have state agencies under this administration pardon contracts.